guess it's time to crack open a cat. Oh, getting absolutely crazy <laughs> drinking a KA. Bloody love grape flavoured things. Like I actually can't even control my love for grape. When I tell you, my skin at the moment looks like actual diarrhea. Like it is so bad. I'm just getting so many little rashes because of my cats. I know it's really tough being me being allergic to my pets. And I just look disgusting like i said it's been a while um you probably don't even remember my name i'm liv if you don't know get to know i went for a stage that i was uploading like not just cheer stuff and then it kind of just became cheer stuff and now the cheer season is over i have posted nothing feel free to unsubscribe no don't don't so i thought maybe we could bring it back to the old generation of youtube rest in peace just get to know me just sit down grab a drink alcoholic non-alcoholic i'm a non-alcoholic gal i feel like there's so much pressure as a 21 year old to literally live breathe love drinking and i don't I'm not really into the drinking life anymore my friday nights i'd much rather just stay at home and do absolutely sweet 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 effort rather than going out and living my best life do you know what if that makes me happy i'm gonna carry on doing it <sighs> so i've just started off by spot concealing even though i need a lot more than concealer to fix this situation Time to get into the questions. I also have tried so many different eyebrow products and I just cannot find one that I like love. At the moment, I'm using the e.l.f. brow lift and truthfully, I just think it's so sticky. Like it doesn't fully dry down. And then I just feel like every time I touch my eyebrows, like I'm touching goo. Okay, I honestly feel like before we get into the questions, I almost just need to do a bit of a life update because as I said, it has been a hot minute since I've posted anything on this channel. <laughs> life update, since we last had a little chat, um, I now am one of the head coaches at the WCA. I now run the place. No, I'm joking. Now I'm uh, one of the bigger dogs, which is terrifying, but I also love it. I cannot believe I'm actually able to coach the teams that I do now, which is literally wild. Some of the teams I coach, I never thought I would have the opportunity to coach teams like that. I actually coach our summit team this year as well, and they are sick. They're literally going to be insane, and I'm so excited to show everyone what we've been working on. Right now, loving it. I'm here for the ride. I'm enjoying every step of the way. Uh, I'm just trying to remember to love it. I also coach our European travel team. So that is Predator X. And we actually go to Paris next week. I definitely will be vlogging Paris. So that will kind of be the kickstart of the cheer vlogs coming back. My face is so red. Why is it so red? Why do I? Why am I that colour? Embarrassing. Okay, next life update is that I am actually moving out. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I'm genuinely leaving the nest. I'm so obsessed with my mum and I don't know how I'm going to live without her. <sighs> I just love her. Sharon, you are an incredible woman. I think it's like 15 days now. So we get back from Paris and genuinely the day after is when I am moving out. It's literally like seven minutes down the road, but my mum isn't going to be in the room next to me. And that's the part that hurts my heart. I'm so excited. It's a new chapter of my life. I'm going to have to be a big girl. I'm going to have to buy the mayo by myself. Does that match? Well, I'm not going anywhere after this. It's literally 11.22 at night. So I'm getting ready to take this straight off. So I'm actually using a new um, Coco Cosmetics sponge. I feel like I can't bin them. Like I'm such a hoarder when it comes to makeup. It's like all my old ones I just keep. I don't know why. Do you not think when you get a new one, like they're just not as good. Like <laughs> it almost seems to be a bit dirty to be a good sponge. I don't know why I'm taking so long to start actually answering questions. The point of this whole entire video. I've started using the BFF face frosting. I use it in the shade Cookie Butter and... I love it. I love it. I literally love it. I just... Question number one. Um, what teams are you on this season? Lady X, which is our world's team. Uh, round two, being on a world's team. I can't believe I'm going to worlds again. I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited to hit this year. Um, I'm not having anything else. Or I will cry and quit cheer and never, ever step foot at the WCA again. Yeah, our routine is literally so, so, so good this year. We literally did our first full out yesterday. It is the 14th of November and we tried our first full out yesterday. It's crazy to think we are doing full outs at this point. Our dance is literally so good. I'm so excited for everyone to see our routine, but also mainly our dance. And then also on Lady Aurora, which is our all girl level four team this year. And that team is gonna be incredible. Uh, next question is not cheer related because I don't just want to speak about cheer. My whole life is cheer and sometimes I've just had enough of cheer. What is my worst habit? Uh, okay, so my worst habit is actually uh, quite bad. I basically bite the skin around my nails. Like, don't judge my nail varnish. Bite the skin around my nails um, and they like bleed and stuff. And I just do it when I'm stressed. And supposedly I'm always stressed because I always bite them. 
but I literally can't control myself. Like I can't stop. Run around me always tells me to stop and I just can't because I just can't get myself to stop eating my hands. What is your biggest regret? Now that is a question. Biggest regret. Do you know what? It's going to sound so cheesy and I'm literally not even ashamed. My biggest regret is actually not believing in myself sooner at my job. So obviously, as I said earlier, I am now one of the head coaches at the gym. Um, and I feel like only this season I've kind of started believing in myself. I always loved my job, but I never thought I was good at it. I felt like I was just doing it because I loved doing cheer myself as an athlete. I didn't think I was good at coaching. I don't think I found what I was good at in coaching. I kind of just did it, like I said, because I love the sport, not because I actually thought I was good at it. I still don't think I'm great. I still think I have a lot to learn and I'm not sat here saying I'm the best coach in the world. Truthfully, I have so much to learn and so much I don't know and so much that I want to learn and I'm willing to learn. But I think I spent so long doubting myself and not thinking I was good that I actually stopped myself getting better for so many years. What is your favourite and least favourite part about yourself? Does that mean physical or like not physical? What's the opposite of physical? And I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm going to answer both. I'm also using the Cody S1 powder, which so many people hate. I'm not going to lie. I literally love it. Look, ugh, look how smooth that is. If you don't love it, I think you're the problem. Joking, joking. Now I'm going to get cancelled by my two followers. My physical favourite part about myself. Um, my physical favourite part about myself is honestly probably the fact that you look at my body and you can tell I'm an athlete. Like I feel like I have a very like muscly, relatively muscly defined body and you can look at me and you can tell I do exercise, which is good because the amount of hours I put in. And my least favourite part about myself, everybody has a least favourite part about themselves. I wish my stomach was more defined, um, but I just love sweet treats. My favourite part about my personality is probably that I um, really care about everyone else's well-being um, a lot. Like, don't like the thought of anyone ever being sad or upset or vulnerable or need. Like, I just think I have a very caring personality. Um, however, that's probably also my negative because I am an over-worrier. I can't just accept that sometimes people are okay. If I think someone's upset or annoyed or anything like that, I then instantly just assume that they are like not okay. I actually got two new Zara blushes today. I've never tried um, the Zara makeup, but a lot of people say it's good and some people say it's not. So I thought I'd be the ultimate test. What shade are these in? There's no shade names, so I got it in pink and orange. Right, time to give it a swirl. Here we go. A oh, one, two, three. Yeah, I can have that for breakfast, lunch, dinner, me. <laughs> I'm then going to take a bit of this Kylie blush, which I am obsessed with in the shade Winter Kiss. Um, just in the centre of my cheeks. That peach one is just quite um peach. And I just want it a little bit more pinky because pink to make boys wink, am I right? You're cute. You are cute. I don't really wear eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis. I usually just take my bronzer and run it through my crease, but I've lost my bronzer. It's literally lost. Found it. It's not lost. Don't worry. I've got it. I've got it. Okay, next question. What is my favourite food of all time? Um, My favourite food of all time is pasta. Like, I literally love pasta with everything inside of me. Ooh, everything inside of me. Why do I say that like that? But at the moment, I'm literally loving, like, Asian food. So at the moment, any form of Asian food... Um, but pasta. <sighs> ah, that made my tongue blue. What is in that? <sighs> See, like the thought of putting on mascara feels daunting. I can do it, I'm brave. Brave girl. Before I do that, I'm going to line my waterline. Lied, I'm a liar. I can't stop lying. Next, uh, draw myself a little wing because I like to give myself a little wing even if I don't wear eyeshadow. So I'm just using this little Smashbox um eyeshadow see how that just like pulls in my eye i don't know if you can tell a difference but like, i can tell a difference i feel like this video has just turned into me rambling and i've answered like no questions but it almost just feels like we're on facetime like two best friends get ready for a night out except i'm sober and it's tuesday and i don't have any friends <laughs> I'm going to curl my latches and I'm going to put on this NYX on the rise mascara, which is so good. I literally can't even get over how good it is. It's my favorite mascara of all time. And it's literally like £10 and I just curled my eyelid. Next question, what is your ultimate holiday travel like dream? Um, I need to go to Japan. If you've been to Japan, I kind of hate you. Like I want to go to Japan so bad. I use the same lip liner 
every single day. I think it's from like Dolls Beauty. I don't know. It's pretty much the same colour as my lips that I can just overline them for being able to tell. I have Littel lips. Littel. Littel with a lowercase L. And the other day I was at a salon and like three people asked me if I would had my lips done. Are they on something? I'm just gonna put on a nude lipstick because I'm that girl that doesn't really wear any colour on her lips. Okay, just taken off my lovely headband, even though you probably thought it was part of the outfit because it was so nice. Just a bit of setting spray. And that is how I do my makeup on a daily basis. Um, I just dropped my drink and I now have made um soup. Makeup soup. I'm gonna probably have to go and sort that out and um yeah, because that right now looks horrendous. That is it for the video. Sorry that it was a bit chaotic, but it was just nice to actually sit down in front of the camera and like talk again. Hopefully I will go back to posting more often. I would say weekly, but I just can't hold myself to it because I bet you I won't be able to do it. Definitely keep you updated on the moving house journey. Um, I might actually like film that process because it's very, very exciting. And yeah, that is it for the video. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you soon, soon for another video. Bye.